Ezekiel saw the wheel. This is the wheel he said he saw. These are unidentified flying objects that people say they are seeing now. Are they proof that we are being visited by civilizations from other stars? Or just what are they? The United States Air Force began an investigation of this high strangeness in a search for the truth. What you are about to see is part of that 20-year search. It's all right. Is that what you're asking? Yes, but I'm curious. I mean, why did you come here? What do you want? Exactly what I want to know, sister. What do they want? Oh, sister Anna. I thought I was the only one up and around. Thank goodness I was wrong. How long have you been watching it? About 15 minutes. It appeared just before 10.25. I checked. Hmm. Well, can't say very much for their manners, whoever they are. You'd think they'd step out and let us know if they're friend or foe. It's going to sound as if I'm completely insane, but... Well, they claim they are friendly, that they mean no harm. They told me so. They what? Don't ask me to explain it, because I can't. It has something to do with those sounds, thought transference of some kind. But they talk to you? They actually communicate it? In English? They don't use words. It's not a spoken language. It's, it's simple, direct thoughts. Lord! How could that be? We communicated, Anna. 
Either that or my mind is completely gone. Leather, as you were saying enough when we were talking before bedtime tonight. Oh, come on now, girl. You're on your own home grounds, astrophysics. You're our PhD expert here. Aren't these the same kind of problems you deal with when you're back at the observatory? Anna, what are you trying to get me to do? We're going to walk out there right now and rap on their front door, if we can find one, and ask them what they mean. Swooping down in the middle of the night, scaring people half to death. Come on, let's go. No. Well, they might be leaving any minute. Anna, I, I don't think they'd want us. Okay. You stay here. Satisfy my curiosity. Except if something happens, what do I tell Sister Superior? I am still second in command here. I ordered you. What more could happen to this old frame anyway? A swarm of hungry germs gnawing away inside my bones, killing off the blood cells. Oh, everybody pretends, but they're, they're not kidding Sister Anna. A couple of months at best. That'll be it. Oh. Oh, my. How's that for a bit of majesty? Come on, let's take a closer look. Be careful. Let's not get too close. Everybody sure starts Christmas early, don't they? Nothing to do with Christmas. This is December 11th, the day before the feast day of the Virgin of Guadalupe. Yeah? One of the biggest holidays for Mexicans in the whole year, no matter which side of the border they live on. What did you do? Read a tourist guide to the Southwest? <laughs> Sheriff Diaz? Major Gatlin, I see. How are you? Fine, thank you. Welcome to Guadalupe Wells. Your navigation must have been excellent, not to miss us entirely. This is Sergeant Harry Pitt. 
Sergeant, that long drive from Alamogordo. Would you like to rest or refresh yourselves? If you're available, we'd like to get started and talk along the way. Major, I am completely at your disposal. Now and at any time. Here's my car. Those two nuns who said they sighted the UFO, do you happen to know them? No, I don't. I understand the one called Sister Lucy is just visiting there. She's a patient. Patient? What kind of patient? St. Hillary's is not a convent. It is a kind of a hospital for the old and sick, and for some who just plain need a rest. This is to Lucy. She's been working in an observatory near Tucson. They thought she needed a vacation. She's an astronomer? Really, a qualified observer? Uh, that I do not know, sir. Sure be a help if she has had some experience. And you two need all the help you can get, huh? Here we are, just before the Virgin's feast day, and a UFO was seen by two holy sisters. And the poor people here, they want miracles. They want dreams to come true. Yes, Major? You fellows have your work cut out for you. I was in the Ozarks, smelling the lilacs. Mama and Papa and Jonathan and I went to the Ozarks once, when I was seven. I really missed lilacs. Anna, I didn't realize you were feeling so uncomfortable. Oh, it's a night chill, curiosity. And you know what curiosity can do. Now, you stop talking like that. What did you come to tell me? It appears we are sharing our adventure with half the county. Maybe even half the state. Oh, how? Why? Sister Superior would tell no one. Maria overheard us telling Sister Superior last night. Maria from the infirmary, that nice Indian woman? She claims she went straight home and kept it a secret. She only told her husband, and her sister, and her brother-in-law. And with the Virgin's Feast Day, well, they're starting to come from miles around. Oh, how are the three of us going to handle this? Anna, what are you doing? You stay right there in bed. No, no, I have to see what's going on. I, 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 I still have my work to do. And Sister Superior hasn't completely relieved me of my duties yet. One of the reasons I dropped in. I can do with a deep breath myself. Well, you can inhale outside just as well. And better for you. You didn't get back to sleep either, huh? Oh, Anna, you know. Considering the shape I was in when I first came here. Well, last night just about pushed me over the edge. Oh. Those people walked all the way out here. Oh. Well, I thought you came out here from the observatory to sort out your problems, not add to them. <laughs> Don't I wish. I've got a terrible decision to make, Anna. But I can't put it off any longer. Well, do you feel like talking about it? Why do you think I dropped in? <laughs> I'm thinking of quitting, of leaving the order. Either it's changed or I've changed, but I don't belong, not with what I'm doing. Faith versus science. Where have I heard about that conflict before? But even before I went to work with Dr. Gleason in Tucson, I mean, 
even before two years ago, I was drifting away. Astrophysics is my work, and my work has become everything. I'm not a sister in an order. I'm a scientist walking around in a nun's habit. And that isn't right, is it? So you uh, came here to pray and meditate and ask God, I presume, to help you make the right decision. And the first month you're here, the skies explode. So I have to ask, why us, Anna? Why me, with all the other nuns, with all the staff? Why were we the only two awake? Yes, yes, I've been speculating, too. Spaceship visits two nuns. One getting ready to die, the other looking around for a way to live. What in heaven's name are they trying to tell us? Sister Lizzie. Yes, sister. Excuse me, Sister Lizzie. Sister Superior would like to talk to you right away. Oh. Just Sister Lizzie, Sister Anna. We're supposed to be resting, she said. <sighs> Don't mind me, Sister Claire. But I am not taking 40 winks. And I am not addled yet. N neither is Sister Lucy. Sister Superior is talking to Sheriff Diaz and two Air Force officers. Already? Project Blue Book, Wright-Patterson Air Base in Ohio. They know all about UFOs and things like that. They do? Great. Got a few dozen questions for them myself. Oh, right. Sister Lucy is not a regular member of St. Hilary's. She's only been here since the 10th. Sister Lucy, Major Gatlin, Sergeant Fitz of the Air Force Foreign Technology Division. How do you do, gentlemen? Sister Lucy? I'm afraid the excitement was uh, a little too much for Sister Anna, so I told her to rest today. If you talk with her tonight, will that be time enough? Of course. Oh, then if you will excuse us, please. Sir. Sheriff Diaz and I have a little figuring to do. Ramon. I understand you spent most of last year at the observatory. Yes, on an astrophysics research team. I kind of conked out, so they offered me the R&R &R here at St. Hilary's. The notes you gave to Sister Superior, they were certainly clear and concise. Thank you. What about the three pictures you said you took? The camera's just a little cheap one, Major. You have to realize that. I gave the role to Sister Agnes. She's been taking pictures of this region over the years and has a very good darkroom. I hope by this afternoon we'll all know if I got lucky or not. I certainly hope you did, ma'am. We all do. One of the Carolinas, no, Virginia maybe, no. Definitely Carolina, South Carolina. Is that it? You're from South Carolina? I'll be doggoned. Hi, in the name of, how did you zero in on it like that, ma'am? Linguistic geography, it's a hobby. I get lucky with that one once in a while, too. What town? Six miles South Carolina, ma'am. Northern part of the state. I'm sorry, Major, what did you want to ask me? That's all right, sister. I wanted to ask you uh, everything from the beginning. Indiana, Illinois. No, Indiana, right? Right as the rain in Spain, Mrs. Higgins. That's quite an accomplishment. Now, if we can just figure out what it was last night, I'd really feel I'd done something. It was right at this spot, I understand. Yes. Major, I'll carry on with the test while you two talk. I think I saw it approach out of the northwest, but I'm not sure if what first attracted me was the object itself or its reflection in my window. I was writing letters. I looked up and saw something bright, so I came outside and I came along that walk there and finally came out to about there. It floated to a stop right up there. You say it was a triadic shape? Yes, like three spacecraft connected together, a triad. It floated to a stop of a, ooh, about 70 or 80 feet above the ground. It, it just parked. Then four beams of light emerged from underneath the two higher cylinders. Here, 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 and here. I think they were the landing gear, but they weren't made of metal. They were pure light. Are you fairly certain of the size you mentioned? Sure as I can be under the circumstances, a span of about 70 or 80 feet. As I said, each of the three sections were equidistant, connected, a triad. A very unusual-looking machine, Major. Nothing like we have. I know there's not much in the way of physical evidence. There's no landing gear marks, no trash bags, no outer space flags planted, no golf balls, no memorial plaques. But I would think, I would assume, that Sergeant Fitz would find some anomalies in the soil. 
Now to the nitty-gritty? A couple of nitty-gritties. Up to now, what you and Sister Anna say you saw isn't dissimilar from several sightings in our files. But seeing images of flames and flowers is just a little out of the ordinary. Is that what you're saying? What are you saying? That Anna and I saw the same thing. We had the same reaction. Wild. We both saw this unusual vision. Nothing to do with religion, Major. So far as I know. Some of them may insist it's nothing but a vision from on high, but uh, I will. Anyway, please ignore my nun's habit. Ignore that we're at St. Hillary's. Try and look on me as a civilian, okay? Both of us saw between us and the vehicle, suddenly out of nowhere, a sort of moving hologram. That's all I could think of. We both saw a kind of fire with flames just burning and burning with no heat. And in the middle of it, there was a, a flower of some kind, a, a carnation or a rose or a, a tulip. We both saw the same thing, Major, and she'll tell you. Sister Lucy, could you explain a little more about the communications that you had with the vehicle? Or was someone inside it? I couldn't quite determine. Can I explain it? Yes, ma'am. There were simply several thoughts suddenly inside my consciousness. I know they came in peace, that they meant no harm. And definitely here. But I don't know if here meant St. Hillary's or New Mexico or within a thousand miles. If they put thoughts in your head, ma'am, it seems strange they didn't put the explanation in your mind as well. That is what is so terribly strange, isn't it? They wanted to communicate, I think, but suddenly the transmission was jammed or something, almost as if one part wanted to give us some word and another faction didn't. So they tried to show us visually. All I did get was something about, we will never cease, we will always continue. And then the most baffling part, when they are together, they and when what is together i have no idea i couldn't get it and then it, it took off with an incredible intake of air sister lucy sister agnes said she has your pictures i'm sure i didn't make any mistakes i was so very very careful i know how important it... no i'm sure you didn't completely fogged the whole role Radiation? Wouldn't you say? We'd still like to have them if we may. Certainly. Maybe your magicians can find an image. Oh, and I thought I was so calm and collected and unflustered to go and get my camera and take pictures of it. Plant a tiny seed of doubt in your minds about my reliability? No, ma'am, not a bit. If you hadn't even tried to take pictures, then I would have wondered. If you don't mind, we'd also like to keep your camera for a little while. Of course, Sister Lucy. Sister Lucy, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for you. It's not all that bad. It's disappointment, certainly, but... It's Anna. She's passed away. Lovely timepiece. I kept telling Anna she should have it repaired. Her grandmother, she told me. Yes, ma'am. You were wondering about... Oh, sister. my. <laughs> Look at this. If you like me like I like you, let's be good friends the whole year through. And that's signed Dorothy Quinlan, third grade. 
Border Star School, Kansas City, Missouri, 1921. I wonder why she kept just that one. I'm sorry, gentlemen. Now, what is it you want to know? Sister Anna's cause of death. Has that been confirmed? Dr. Robinson verified it was an embolism. A result of the chronic bone disease she'd been suffering from? I'm sure he'll turn over her complete medical file. No rare affliction from outer space, gentlemen. Just a simple, deadly clot. I must say, I was amazed to learn she was in the library this morning. We're looking all over for something, standing on the ladder. We'll check with Dr. Robbins. Would you mind if we ask you a few personal questions about Sister Lucy? Not at all. I can see how you must. Vanna's death, that leaves Sister Lucy as the only witness. Basically, would you say that she's in good health? Sister Lucy came here the 10th of last month, very exhausted, after a demanding year and a half at the observatory. Has she ever suffered any emotional disturbance? Not to my knowledge. Her reputation has always been that of a stable, hard-working woman, a professional. Dr. Gleason can go into more detail, I'm sure. She worked on Dr. Gleason's project. I have an appointment with him Thursday, ma'am. May I ask what time you're seeing him? Well, I think it's 2 p.m. At the observatory, ma'am. Sister Lucy's been invited to meet with the Archbishop's assistant Thursday afternoon. It would be a great help if she could ride over with you. Well, I'd be delighted, ma'am. The Archbishop's assistant. That would be the Monsignor? Yes, of course, Monsignor Killian. In connection with the sighting? The rumors already reached them, and they want to get the details straight, that's all. When there's talk of miracles, a certain amount of nervousness is understandable. I can understand how there'd be plenty of questions, ma'am, in our business and in yours. Just keep coming, don't you, sister? This is one day I don't mind getting away. Sure hope we finish your interviews on time. And I can get you back for Anna's service. I've already said goodbye, Sergeant. <sighs> what are most of your people like? Investigation teams? Well, they're usually... No, I mean the people that have seen UFOs. Are they just a little feathery? Do they have... Histories of hallucinations, they're trying to get attention, you know? May disease, sister. All kinds. Most of them very legitimate. Believe they did see something. 75% of the time, though, they can be explained. Weather balloons, aircraft, unusual or seen in unusual circumstances. Meteorological disturbances, refractions, reflections. And what slot do you and Major Gatlin put me into? We just started. Well, you've heard the whole fantastic story, Sergeant. I couldn't tell you our recommendations, even if I wanted to, sister. My name's Lucy. Oh, uh, okay. I just thought that the proper... And it's Harry? A choice of words, sister. Perhaps it was not intentional, although I do wish you had taken time to consider the ultimate effect of discussing it. You are catering to human weakness, ignorance, superstition. Sister Anna and I told only our superior. I reported only what I saw and felt. I am not interested in what you thought you saw, sister. To my mind, the whole story is highly irresponsible. With all due respect, Monsignor, I have no quarrel with the authority of the church, the archbishop, or with you. But I repeat, I have said nothing. I have done nothing to mislead anyone by promoting what you choose to call a shabby scientific hoax. Need I labor the point, sister? If this is to be encouraged, soon there will be reports of miracles out at St. Hilary's. Candlelight processions, pilgrimages, mass emotional displays. Now, we will not permit that to happen. You are a nun. You are a reputable scientist. We have the right to expect your complete cooperation, do we not? What kind of complete cooperation do you suggest, Monsignor? Through circumstance, 
You are now the only living witness to this bizarre incident. Your words alone, sister, can determine whether or not the public accepts it. I believe the interpretation of the Air Force is just as... Well, they have only your version on which to base their opinion. No other witness. No physical evidence. Photographs which did not turn out. You want me to deny it ever happened? We are merely suggesting that you tell the truth. It is true that you have not been well. It is true that you have been physically and perhaps even psychically depleted. It is true that your superior has ordered you to take an indefinite leave of absence to rest at St. Hilary's because of your exhaustion. I believe, Monsignor, that I have regained a great deal of my strength. I am delighted to hear it, sister. I only hope that you have found enough strength with which to disassociate yourself from all of this UFO rubbish. It never happened, sister. Deny it. We can't. We can't? The Inquisition was buried a few centuries ago. Are you trying to bring it back? Insults do not become you, sister. I meant no insult, Monsignor. I just find your suggestion hard to believe and impossible to accept. Do you take seriously your solemn vow of obedience? Very seriously, Monsignor. Obedience to the Archbishop. When I receive such an order or suggestion directly from him, then I will do what I must. about it anymore? Don't encourage me. I might never stop. Well, that's a heck of a big decision. Deciding to resign or not. Heck of a big decision. What are you gonna do? About what? Are you in for the full hitch or whatever it is? The best years of your life, as they say? Well, right now, I'm in for three more. And if things stay as interesting as they have been, yeah, I'll probably make it a career. Can't think of anything on the outside I'd like better. I think maybe I'd like the outside. I mean, on the inside, you've got a lot of possibilities, a lot of choices. I'm... Well, my inside isn't quite the same as yours, Harry. Is it all because of what happened at your meeting? Sort of, yeah. It's got something to do with it. It all because of your sighting? Kind of. That brought things to a head. What happens to a nun when she isn't a nun anymore? You just get on with it, I suppose. Maybe I could let you know one of these days. Lucy, I'd, I'd like to give you my address. You know, uh, just in case. I mean, if there's any reason. I'd like that very much, Harry. Thank you for the clothes. Muchas gracias.
are you from? No. No, I'm not receiving. No, what? The fire is what? Please, I don't understand. A rose? Yes, I get that. The rose, the rose is perfect. When they are together? You told me that before, but what does it mean? No, don't, don't leave yet. Sir, you've just heard what Sister Lucy told us about yesterday's encounter. Gentlemen, I can only ask you to consider the circumstances of this second happening. My sympathy for Sister Lucy goes beyond words. But it is obvious that her simple hallucination has grown into a delusion. Then we'd like to make a transcript and have you initial it for us, if you would, please. Whatever you like, Major. I can provide an affidavit, or I'd be glad to sign the transcript. Thank you, Monsignor. It's only part of my duty, gentlemen. To complete your files, you might look over Sister Lucy's medical records of the past year. Some findings of a psychologist that we suggested she see might help. Thank you very much. Well, gentlemen, does that wrap it up? Yes, sir. That wraps it up. Welcome to stay longer, you know that. Thank you. I've made plans. May I ask you one favor? Of course, if I can. Those things of Anna's, may I have them? They, they'd mean so much to me. Certainly. They'd just get lost. <laughs> Thank you, Sister Superior. For everything. By Lucy Riker. better or for worse. Thank you for the lift, and thank you for your many courtesies. You're most welcome, sister. Miss Riker. Goodbye, Major. Goodbye. Goodbye, Harry. Goodbye, Lucy. 
Try not to make me out to be too much of a crazy when you write your reports. Well, let's see if I can get this thing started for openers. Listen, you sure you want to make that trip all the way out to San Francisco by yourself? I talked to my brother and his wife. They can't hardly wait for me to get there. They've just had twins. I'm going to be the most popular babysitter in the Bay Area. Well, you have my address. I sure do. You look out for postcards. Grand Canyon, Golden Gate Bridge. Lucy, drive carefully. Take care of yourself, you hear? I'll be okay. I'll let you know when I found a place. Can I tell you something just between you and me? I believe what you said. Really? Then can I tell you both something? Shoot. Sure. Before it lifted off, I kept asking it, why land here? Did they have any reason? And their thought came. They said, because we lived here once. This planet was ours. This was home. Here? Why did they leave? The thought wouldn't register. I got the impression of somebody crying. You don't have to tell me if you believe that or not. Hey, don't tease me. <laughs> Let's be good friends the whole year through. perfect love, fire perfect knowledge, fire rose too. Anna, I still don't know any more than I did about the flame in the rose. What rose? Where? Page 107. We shall not cease from exploration. And the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. When the tongues of flame are enfolded into the crown knot of fire, and the fire and the rose are one. are together. 
that'll be a day. St. Hillary's, Mage. 